Welcome to the Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers, travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps, visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. We would like to welcome you today to the Joy of Music, a program dedicated to bringing glory to God through music. It has been my privilege and the privilege of other guest artists to travel around the world performing music in old cathedrals and monasteries for the joy of music. And one of the most satisfying things is to perform hymns, gospel hymns and great hymns of faith because they are so meaningful to us. And so the program is entitled today, Hymns Around the World. We would like to begin the program in a very unique church, the Church of Monse, Austria, which is surrounded by a sparkling lake and snow-covered Alps. And here on the great organ, we hear the hymn, Holy God, we praise thy name. Certainly, we want to begin the program by praising God, not only for what he does for us, but who he is. God, the Creator, the Sustainer of life, and our Redeemer.
In performing hymns around the world, we continue our praise of God by traveling to Innsbruck, Austria. Here we came to the Stiftskirche, or an old abbey, where we listened to the Wiltner Boys' Choir. These little boys in their lederhosen and red jackets also sing the praises of God, and we hear them sing an old Bach chorale, which was a hymn of Bach's day, Lobt Gott, which is praise God, all ye Christians, for he has won the victory for us. And then in the same church, we found a little Renaissance organ of the 1600s. This little positive organ is so simple, and yet the message of the hymn which is played on it is so profound. For the beauty of the earth, we praise thee, Lord. Innsbruck, Austria is surrounded by snow-covered Alps, and here in the Stiftskirk of Innsbruck, I am sitting at the little Posti organ, standing beside the great high altar. We cannot help but see the creation of God as we look around us, and appreciate and realize that truly God is the God of life and creation. I would like to play a hymn on this tiny little organ of the 1600s, that talks about the creation and beauty of this earth for the beauty of the earth. around the world, we visit now a modern-day cathedral in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church, which houses an organ of 6,600 pipes. I'm going to play on this great organ, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, and all hail the power of Jesus' name. And so we turn from the music of God as Creator and as Sustainer of Life to God as Redeemer, who sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem each one of us who would trust 
in him.
In Hymns Around the World, we turn now to three historic hymns which speak of God as the everlasting God. The scriptures tell us that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we are to thank Him for who He is. We visit the Fortress Cathedral in Sion, Switzerland, which houses the oldest playable organ in the world. And on this instrument, we hear now thank we all, our God. Then we travel to Germany, and with a string ensemble, organ, and the singing of Sung Suk Lee, we hear the stalwart hymn of the Reformation, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. Then finally, we go to Holland and the St. Bavo Church, which has an organ built in 1737. We play the hymn, O oh God our help, in ages past. And so, we listen now to three historic hymns of faith.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have featured hymns around the world. Hymns are a great heritage and something that we should all be thankful for because they express our faith. There are experiential hymns, gospel hymns, and great statements of faith. We can express within ourselves and by singing and performing these hymns the personal relationship that we have in knowing Jesus Christ as Savior. And we can praise God for His greatness as the Sovereign God, as the Creator, the Sustainer, and Redeemer. I hope that you have been enriched and blessed by these hymns on the program today. Thank you so much for joining us on The Joy of Music, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.